Yo, what up, YouTube? Yeah, this is your boy Daddy Easy here, aka Crash Over, otherwise known as iPod Jailbreak Hacker. And today, as a lot of y'all know, I have put an application up on here saying how to get Game Center on OS 4. Now, that one is old. A lot of y'all have upgraded to 4.2.1, and I'm going to show you basically how to get it working on your new jailbroken 4.2.1 firmware. So, what you gonna need is WinFCP or QTFP, whatever one that you can SSH into. And you need to go into the down the description, which is gonna be in the bottom. And you need to get the Game Center 3G. Now, this is for people that has the iPhone 3G, 3G users only, not 3GS. Um, this application only works for 3Gs. I don't know if it works for 3GSs. You can try it. But I'm letting you know now. I don't know if it works for the 3GS phones. It only works for the 3G of what I know. So, one of y'all, you can do it. I'm not held responsible if you mess up your phone, your iPod. This does work. I believe it works for the iPod touches, I believe so. But I'm not sure. I just know it's more for the iPhone 3G. So, let's begin. NFCP. Now, this is the first thing you want to do. I'm going to backspace all the way back. Now this is the first thing I want to do. Uh, let me minimize this real quick so y'all can see. This is for people that's only on firmware 4.2.1. I will have one for people that's on 4.2. Give me some time and I will post one up for y'all. For ya. Okay. Like I say, you want to backspace all the way up. Then you want to go to here. Private. Var stash application pwn. Now you just want to take it, which you see is right here, it's already on my phone. You want to just take this and drop it into the folder. Make sure you don't copy it into a folder that's already there. As you can see, it says Game Center iPhone. When you do that, you want to right click on Game Center, and so for the properties. Now you're going to change this right here to 755. Make sure you click on set groups. Click OK. Like I said, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. After you've done that, backspace all the way back. Now this time you're going to go to systems, library. You're going to go to core services. When you're in core services, you're going to go to springboard. Now side springboard. Now this is what you're gonna do. Scroll down to the ends. These two right here. Now you have four folders. You have one that says wallpaper plus game center, multitasking plus wallpaper plus game center, multitask plus game center. Now the ones with the ones that says wallpaper is a special wallpaper in the background that changes and change everything around. The one that I got is Multitask Wallpaper Game Center. Out of these three folders, one, two, three, and four. Pick one of them, and I'm just gonna open this up. I'm just gonna take this, drop it inside. That's all you're gonna do. Once you do that, backspace again. Backspace all the way back over again. Now you're going to go back into systems again, systems, library, and you're going to go to launch domain, I mean, just give me a second, okay. Now you're going to take the, inside the download folder of the game center, you're going to take your com.apple.game.plist, you're just going to take it, sorry, you're just going to take this. Drop it inside here. That's it. Now, one more time. Back all the way out. Now, you want to go to this one at the bottom. USR. Don't mistake it for user. You want to go to USR. Double click. You want to click this one right here. The one that's highlighted right here. Just click on that one. Now, you're going to take the game folder right here out of your download folder. 
drag and drop. Once you drag and drop, it's going to be right here. I'm going to right click, properties, change the settings to 755. Once you're done with that, you can actually shut this down. Click OK. Click out of that. And if you got SP settings on your phone, you're going to do a reboot. Reboot your iPhone, iPod, whatever one y'all going to test it on. Reboot it. Or if y'all don't have SP settings on it, just do a hard power off, just holding a power button, shut it down, and we turn it back on. So I'm going to switch over to the cell phone and show you from right there exactly what you can once you do it. Alright, what up YouTube EX? As you can see, I'm all got my iPhone up. I'm very sleepy right now. Broke night. But let me show you that game center work. Just click on it. Uh right here game center. Click on it. And as you can see the wallpaper what I was telling you about. Um, after you download this, you need to download a patch inside Cydia. I will put everything in the link in the description. So basically, I can do it. If y'all like to, y'all can add me on Game Center. This is for 4.2.1 iPhone 3Gs. And as you can see, I have 56 friends. Um, it's hard for y'all to see it. Um, but this is some of the features that you get. As you can see, it says join my site, that easy dot webs dot net. I mean dot com. That's to my KOB KRBO team for Call of Duty Black Ops and so on. So I catch you guys in my next video. Peace.